Drinking Buddies. 2023 is upon us. I got a little bottle haul I'm going to share with you. Some light whiskey hunting I did over the holiday. And uh, give you a little channel update for 2023. What do we have installed for 2023? Let's dive right in. I'm your drinking buddy. All right, drinking buddies. So uh, I got some pretty cool bottles um, over the holiday week um, and uh, one unicorn I've been hunting for a while. I'm really excited to share with you. Um, but yeah, let's um, let's kind of start with Nana's. Um, Nana's always delivers. Um, I grabbed a Russell's Reserve Straight Rye Whiskey Single Barrel. I have never seen these before. 104 proof. I'm really excited for this guy. Um, I love the Russell's Rise. This to me is like, I tasted it when I was there and I, I, I blinds will tell for sure, but this to me like just smashes Rare Breed Rye and I love Rare Breed Rye. This to me is in like that same category as like Thomas Handy. Like that's how good this is. Um, so maybe I'm uh, overselling it a little bit, but that's, that's what it comes off to me is reminding me of Thomas Handy in quality. Uh, next up, I got a really cool one I cannot wait to do a video on. Um, we got the new Jack Daniels uh, special release. Uh, so this is going to be a twice barreled single malt. Jack Daniels has entered the single malt game. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, I think this is going to be a big boon for the entire single malt industry. I think that uh, we will be seeing a lot more single malts coming out because of this. They kind of did the same thing for rye. You know, they made rye a lot bigger with their releases a few years ago. And I think that the same thing is going to happen with single malts. Uh, I'm really excited to uh, review this one on the channel. I did just try it and it was really good. Um, next up, I did, Total Wine is kind of drying up. Um, not getting as much stuff from there as I used to, but I did win the lottery there and I got a Blanton's store pick from Total Wine. So that was from a lottery drawing. And this is something that uh, the last one I got was just a regular shelf bottle for Safeway. And it was $20 less at Safeway than it was for a, for a pick at Total Wine. So a uh, little disappointed in the price, a little disappointed in the fact that I had to, to spend so much money to be able to even buy it. A um, little frustrated with the whole situation, to be perfectly honest, but probably more on that as the year goes on. We'll see how I do in the Pappy Lottery before I say anything bad about Total Wine. I finally checked out Trevor's. Anyway, it's a really nice uh, liquor store. They have a ton of store picks. If you're in Arizona, I would recommend checking it out because they had barrel picks of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, they had barrel picks of Knob Creek Single Barrel, they had barrel picks of Knob Creek Single Barrel Rye, a lot of really good picks that were just sitting there uh, on shelves, readily available that you could buy right now. Uh, but while I was there, I picked up this Journeyman Distillery, uh, Corset Whips and Whiskey. Uh, this is one I, uh, I've been looking for for a while. I've tried to reach out to people here in town to pick up a bottle, but I haven't been able to. I was gonna go ahead and order it online and uh, just happened to see it there at Trevor's, so picked it up. It's 116.6 proof wheat whiskey. 
So barrel strength wheat whiskey, really excited to try that. Haven't had anything from Journeyman in the past. And last up, the one that I am the most excited about, I finally landed one of my unicorn bottles. And as you can see, I've already dived into it. Uh, I got a Russell's 13, guys. 2022 was a success. Uh, at the beginning of the year, there was you know, a handful of bottles that I wanted to land last year, and this is probably one of the best ones I've landed. Um, I can't wait to throw it in some blinds. I did try it already, and it is fantastic. Uh, I also got a sample of batch one, so it'll be really cool to see if it's better than batch one of this, you know, particular. Maybe try it up against maybe some Stag Juniors, or maybe try it up against some Russell Single Barrels to see how much better it is. Uh, can it beat the Stags of the world? We will find out in 2023. I'm going to be trying to post five to six videos a week. I want to keep up on that. Um, don't feel like you have to watch every single video I post, but the algorithm really rewards me when I post a lot of videos. So I'm going to continue to try to, try to strive for five to six videos a week. Some really cool things I have planned for the year. I should be able to have a guest on that is a fairly prominent whiskey tuber out there. I'm really excited for that. I hope he can make it. Um, hopefully next month that's going to happen. Um, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, blind tasting reviews. What would you like to see out of, out of your drinking buddy in 2023? I've received comments lately that maybe my audio could use a little bit of an upgrade. So my first step to that was I bought some soundproofing for this room. I put some of it up today. It's not all up yet, but, uh, so leave a comment down below if my sound sounds a little better. If it's still up, not up to snuff, I guess my next step will be to replace these microphones with something, you know, newer, maybe a little bit more update. Um, what would you like to see me doing? I, I do have a few new series planned. I'm going to continue some of the old series that I have planned. I'm going to try to get guests back on here. It's always fun when I have a guest. I'm sure Marco will be back soon. And uh, yeah, what do you want to see out of your drinking buddy in 2023? Leave it down in the comments below. Well, drinking buddies, I really appreciate every single one of you. I couldn't do this without you. Uh, liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me a lot and uh, it's free. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.